It's my belief that everyone has a story. It's it's great. It's very therapeutic to tell your story to get it out, uh, to let other people hear it, and that sort of thing. But more than more importantly, specifically to me, is is writing your story. Now I think everybody needs to write it down. Um, that said, some some don't need to be read. Really, I mean they're not they're not they're not bug material. But most stories are bug material, and even if uh, when you write it, it it doesn't it's not seventy five pages or something. I mean it. It's not a full size. You don't think it's a full size book? It's still a book. Anything over eight pages is legally a book, according to uh, the U.S. Um, Postal Service. If it's over eight pages, it's a book. Even if it's like stapled together, those are uh, stapled. I want to put together things that look like books. If it's short, fine, but it's going to have a spine. It's not going to just be stapled. Because that doesn't look like bookstore stuff. I want to help people put together actual books. Um, when I say everybody has a story, also it's 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 autobiographical. It's you tell what you know. Um, I am a big fan of fiction too. Um, but what I what I focus on is people telling what they've been through, and that's really. Uh, one of the rules I've heard is just write what you know. That's and, and that's the way it is. Some people, you know, nobody's been in a starship or or met aliens on different planets or traveled through time. So it's it's like it's you can't just write what you know because there would be no great fiction if uh, people just wrote what they know. But the characters have uh, characteristics of people you've met of. Uh, this is how you would act. You know, the, these are internal thoughts sometimes become fictionalized characters. Okay, but the point is, I just I just want to help people put things down. Um, and to that end, helping people put together what's going to become a book. Um, some people haven't written anything down. That's, that's fine. I want to help people bring that out. To help people put it down. Um, I will do anything to help somebody. I mean, read uh, manuscripts, uh, read uh, just notes. Um, I'm working with one of my friends who has an outline for a book, and I'm kind of going to ghostwrite because he's got a lot of good ideas, but he doesn't have it written. I'm going to help him put it together. I'm not looking for any kind of monetary gain. Eventually, this will be a business. But do I look like a businessman, really? Hmm. It's going to take some time. So right now, I'm just helping out my friends. You know, helping... Just just helping my friends. Because this is going to build and build and build. You know? If I help somebody, that person will help somebody. That person will help somebody. And that person will help somebody. It's... Because every, in the end, everybody will get their story out. Get it written. Switching veins. I've got a quote that has been with me since uh, high school. It was actually a math teacher said this about math problems. When in doubt, write it out. If you don't understand the math problem, just writing it down. Because you get it out of your head, you get it on paper, you get it where you see it. And that applies to people's stories, to actually written stories. If you're not sure of something, write it down. Make a list. And that can turn into uh, a narrative. Really, I mean, just having lists, okay, string them together. Write some sentences in between them. I mean, there's an idea there. Um, I'm not, I've never been a real structured person, structured outlines I'd have. You know, the Roman numeral 1 and the capital A and lowercase a and then capital B or... I, I don't even know how it's supposed, supposed to work. I'm not rigid like that. You know, if, if, if you just have a list, a bulleted list, that can become a story. Just stick your narrative in there. Everybody's got it. You've got ideas and you've got to get them out. 
Um, I think. Uh, and, you know, maybe if I look at this, look at your story, help you uh, tell a little bit of your story, find out it's not book material. We can still put it together, and it can be PDF to create space. It'll let... Uh, create space is, is basically printed on demand. They have huge servers somewhere where they put all these PDFs on them. And when you want it, they print it on demand. That's what print on demand is all about. Um, so if if there's not really a demand for your story, nobody wants to read it, it'll just sit there. Just like my book so far, for the most part, just sitting there on a PDF on their computer somewhere. Because people aren't demanding to read them. But eventually, people with man, they'll want to know where Phil comes from. What is Phil all about? Read the book. It's levels of Edom. It's a foundation of Phil. That's where I... Yeah, oh, that's... Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Write it out.